Hey everybody, Anish Majumdar here, career coach to the Fiercely Ambitious. Back at you today with a video that uh, answers a question that uh, I, I'm almost gonna say this is more of like a public service announcement for anyone who is negotiating an offer, looking to land a better job, in talks with any employer. Um, it's, it's one I see tossed about a lot. It's a question I personally get a lot, and it's basically this. Anish, uh, I'm about to sign. How seriously should I take this employer's promises of future promotion, a future growth path? Okay, uh, interesting question, complicated question. The simple answer to it is out of all the things that you're negotiating, this should be the one that you put the least amount of emphasis on. The one that you um, use the least to decide whether or not to actually take it. And I'll explain why, okay? So you're setting this... Uh, roll up, right? You guys are talking ideally about the problems that this company uh, is facing. You're, you're there understanding that you are the best person who can solve it for them short and long term. Ideally, now you guys are talking about an offer. There's a couple of things, though, that you have reservations on, you know, um, the title is a little lower than it needs to be. The responsibilities a little lower than it needs to be. And you're bringing these up. And rather than them engaging honestly with you about that and making the necessary changes, they try to sweep it under the rug and saying, don't worry, look, you take this role. I know it's at the manager level. All right, but give it a year, right? It's going to be at a totally different zone. And then we're going to be much more willing to do it, right? This is a problem, all right? And should you believe it? I would say this is something where due diligence really comes in. If you've been uh, dialoguing honestly with your main point of contact at that company, if, if, if there has been accountability and trust throughout every stage of the process, and they're telling you, um, uh, we uh, can't make a, uh, you know, an adjustment to the role now, but we can a year from now, fine. Don't accept the role unless you keep that accountability going and say, okay, fine. Then at the six month mark, I would like a formalized check-in. And then at the 12 month mark, assuming we've hit the majority of these goals, I want us to formally doing it. And are you guys okay with that as well? because I don't want there to be any false pretenses. If they're saying yes, then you can make a risk to say, look, they've been accountable every single step of the way, I'm gonna make that bet. Now, if they've been dropping calls for you and they've been uh, bailing on you and they've been um, kind of borderline deceitful or, or certainly at the very best absent-minded about other aspects of the hiring process, don't even bother about that. They will have no intention of following through. They're just telling you what they need to so that they can solve the short-term problem and then cast you aside. No one wants that. You know, you don't ever want to be a part of a company that sees you as nothing more than just like a screw, basically, that you got to put in there. So definitely do your due diligence. Ask yourself how they've been through every part of this process. The reason I also say, you, even under the best case scenarios, you can't really take promises of future promotion uh, seriously is because, look, we can say all we want, I'm gonna climb the corporate ladder based on my performance, but that's not the only factor here, right? They can um, bring in a new CEO five, minutes, five months into it who decides your whole division isn't that important, right? They can... Um, uh, make the ladder itself redundant by buying out the company or getting acquired or something like that, right? They can extend out that corporate ladder indefinitely and say, oh yeah, you know what? It's not going to take you two years. You need a minimum of five years uh, and this much. And meanwhile, they'll bring in someone external, right? They can mess with the ladder as much as they want. The ladder is not static, which is why you can't count on it in most cases. Look, in most cases, that's not a big deal because if you accepted an amazing role and um, you're doing amazing work and you're gaining amazing experience, then your market value is increasing, which means even if there is no promotion or something like that a year from now uh, or two years from now, your market value is one where you can go out into the market and get that type of a role, right? So be absolutely also wary if, if companies are promising some kind of thinly veiled growth or promotion thing in ex and you know that they're making you sign a very non-negotiable, for example, non-compete within the industry, this is a big problem. These are things that need to get seriously hashed out. They can't be asking you for extra amounts of obligation that tie your hands behind your back and give you nothing in return, not without accountable things built in. So ideally, the way I look at it is, 
If I need to negotiate key aspects of the role, I'm going to do everything possible to negotiate it right here, right now. Because if we're not on the same terms in terms of what we need to solve, what's important about it, how am I setting myself up for success anyway? Now, failing that, I want accountability measures built into the offer itself that at this time, at this time, based on performance, based on what I say I'm going to do and the risk I'm taking on now, you are taking on a risk to join me there and meet me there. That's number two. Number three, I say, look, I'm not going to put any real faith in that, but I am okay with what I do see here to say I am most likely going to create a major win and then I'm going to take that out into the open market. And if anything happens in, internally in between then and now, I'm good to go. But it is really, really key that you not overemphasize or take the thinly veiled promises of promotion, no matter how nicely they sound, during hiring seriously because it can be changed at a moment's notice. All right. Hope that is helpful, guys. Keep the questions coming. Keep following me on LinkedIn. Join our channel on YouTube. Keep sending out these videos to friends, to colleagues, to people who need help and keep spreading that word. We can do it differently. We can get hyper successful right now and we don't ever need to waste our time with these gatekeepers ever again. If that interests you, helloanish.com, H-E-L-L-O-A-N-I-S-H.com is where you need to go next. Talk soon.